<laughs> it actually broke loose a little bit, which is kind of funny. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're me going over a 2021 Chevy 1500 with the Black Widow package. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Chevy here in Provo for giving me some time with the truck. Check out the inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. Now the Black Widow 1500 is built off of an RST with the 6.2 V8 and it all goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 420 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque and yeah just look at that thing in all of its glory. Now let's go over the front end of this Black Widow 1500. So first off, notice that at the top of the windshield, it says Black Widow. We still get the 6.2 liter badge there on the side. And then notice we've got the Black Widow venting here at the top portion, definitely a nice accent piece. Still have the Z71 logo. LED lights that come standard here with the RST. And then notice we've got the Black Widow front grille here that says Black Widow there at the top. And then I love the coloration on the Chevy bow tie. Hopefully that comes through on the camera to kind of mimic the paint color on the truck. And then, yeah, I just love that little accent piece right there. We've got our tow hooks here at the bottom. And then I noticed the fender flares there from the side. But yeah, other than that, there's your full front view. Now coming around the side here, we've got 22 inch wheels with 35s wrapped around them, which actually look absolutely fantastic. You guys know that typically I'm not a fan of larger sized wheels, but Black Widow has absolutely killed it with the design on these particular wheels. And then notice that you've got the red brake caliper there in the center. That's also part of the package. This also comes with a six inch lift if you haven't noticed with how massive the truck is. And there's kind of what you can see on the setup. And then we've got the body painted fender flares, which again, just add to the aggressive look. We have the Black Widow logo right there. And then notice that the mirrors are kind of blacked out there at the top portion. And then we'll look at the suspension setup in the rear, but here is your full side profile view. And just, I mean, look how crazy this thing looks like. That is a 3,500. And then this is this Black Widow 1500. It is massive. And then we'll take a quick look at everything here in the rear. So you guys can see the leaf spring setup and all that. And then, Everything is happening back there, but yeah, that's pretty much everything for the shocks and everything. Also, if you're wondering, it does have a speedo recalibration. Now let's go for things here in the bed. So everything's pretty much stock here on the bed. You still have the covering and still get the LED lights back here with the outlet just down below. And yeah, all that's the same. You get a sticker there on the window. I mean, that's pretty cool. And also, let's see if this has the tailgate raise up. Yes, it does. Look at that. Living the life of luxury. Don't even have to pick it up myself. Now let's finish things off with the rear. So first off, there are the taillights that has also been unchanged. And then notice we have the bumper steps right here. They have blacked out kind of the exhaust coverings and all that to match with the rest of the trucks. So you don't get the normal chrome look. And then we have a Black Widow badge right there, just below the RST logo. And yeah, other than that, here is your rear view. And again, just that stance. Oh. Now let's go over the door panel here in the rear. Notice that you still get all the stitching and soft touch that you normally get in an RST. I like the accent piece right there. And here are the seats. So notice we have the full leather seats here, perforated leather, still have the storage cubbies and everything. Definitely nice and soft to the touch. And then there's a quick look at the cup holder area, all of that. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much everything for the back seating area. So, so you. Now here's a door panel at the front, identical setup to what you get in the rear, except you've got all the window controls, all that kind of stuff. Still have the Bose sound system, again, the power steps. And then we have the Black Widow logos here on the top of the seats, which look really good. And there's kind of a look at the seats themselves. There's your power adjustments and then pedals down below. Still have our parking brake right here. Still have all the light controls in this area and then the drive line select and the drive mode select in that area. And yeah, there's one more look before we pop in. Now here is the steering wheel. It looks like everything is pretty much the same as stock with all of the controls and everything on the steering wheel. So I'm not really gonna go over that. And yeah, it looks like that is all the same. The fun part is the gauges. Look how beautiful these gauges are with the Black Widows and everything. I think that just looks really cool. And then you still get the same controls here with the center screen. We can see different bits of information on the truck itself and all that. But again, the coolest part is just the custom gauges. 
Now we're over here at the infotainment system. So you can see it has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all the normal stuff. But I wanted to see how the camera system was affected because of the lift. You can see you've got the backup camera with the trajectory lines. And yeah, it doesn't look too funny. It still functions all the same. So it looks like we're good on that front. And yeah, just like always, you guys know I love Chevy's infotainment system. It's definitely one of the best in the car industry. Down below, we still have our analog controls for the infotainment system, analog controls for the climate system. This is the RST, so you get dual zone climate, heated seats, and then a gigantic blank switch. Anyways, we've got power outlet. That's for your stability control, hazard lights, drop down or raise for the tailgate, auto stop, start hill descent control, trailer brakes, and then a bunch of areas we can charge devices. And then notice this, and then just notice all of the beautiful black trim all around, which looks really good. And then let's see if there's anything here in the center console. Nope, just a piece of paper. So I guess nothing to see there. And then we'll see anything in the glove box. Nope, also pretty normal. And then I guess we'll pop up top here. This one just has the regular mirror and then regular sunroof, controls for it, all that. Um, and well, that's the power side window. Outside controls of the sunroof. But it looks like all of that's pretty much the same. Hopefully this pops through onto the camera. Feel free to freeze the frame if you guys wanna read each individual option that this truck has. It's been added to the RST package. And then you guys can see the total MSRP, $91,206. And wait for it. It's a really big truck, so I have to walk back pretty far. Let's take her out and see how she drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off here in the Black Widow. So you guys can see visibility over the hood and then through both of the mirrors. And then here's throughout the rest of the rear. And it's set off. We are setting off here in this Black Widow 1500. And first off, let's talk about the road noise and ride quality, which I am very surprised by. is actually really good. I expected this to ride a lot rougher considering it's got 35s with 22s and then a six inch lift, but it actually rides pretty smooth. now. It's not as smooth as stock, but it's pretty close. Uh, you're not really gonna notice unless you review cars for a living like me, or if you drive them back to back, then you'll notice. Uh, but if you never drive a stock 1500 and then you drive this, you're gonna be like, oh, this is a smooth truck, it drives nice. Aside from that, we'll kind of see the handling. Obviously lifting vehicles usually, yeah. You can feel the body roll, but it's actually not as bad as I expected. This actually drives really nice. It uh, is a really big truck but it doesn't drive that massive. Like I expected this to be, I mean, especially right here, it's kind of tight. Um, I expected it to like struggle to fit and everything, but it's completely fine uh, fitting down the lane and everything. And it's not intimidating to drive either. But the cool thing is you do get this really cool driving position where you really feel like you're the king of the road. And I mean, that's one of the reasons why people buy lifted trucks is to get that feeling. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is this 6.2 V8 and how it kind of propels this truck forward. Uh, first off, from just like a getting up and going standpoint, it's, it's actually really good. Um, obviously, we're not going crazy fast or anything like that, but just kind of like casually driving, it actually does a really good job. Yeah, it. I thought this wouldn't fit, but it, it does pretty good. Yeah, and even going over bumpy stuff like that, it doesn't really upset the truck, even though it still has leaf springs, it actually stays pretty well planted. So taking a turn here, uh, turning radius isn't horrible and I just got blinded by the sun. <laughs> but aside by uh, aside from that, it's it's pretty, again, like I said, it's, it's really manageable. Um, the brakes feel great as well. Like I feel like the stopping power is right uh, where it needs to be from a braking perspective. I love the sound you get from the exhaust. Like just listen, just get a nice deep throaty sound. I will get more of an acceleration up here shortly but definitely like the sound you get out of this truck. We're taking another turn here so that we can get a full-blown acceleration. <laughs> it actually broke loose a little bit, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, not a problem from a power perspective. I will tell you that right now, this has more than enough power. And let's get into setting things up with this Black Widow Chevy 1500. So first off, I think it goes without saying, exterior aesthetics are amazing. This is a really good looking truck, tons of road presence. I mean, if you wanna get noticed, this, you know, 
brightish red Black Widow truck will get you noticed. Uh, interior wise, I mean, it's just like any other RST, so it's got a uh, pretty well, it's got a pretty nice interior. The seats are relatively comfortable. Um, you can tell most of the money has been put into the exterior stuff of the truck, i.e. the exhaust, suspension, tires, all that stuff. And obviously those Black Widow badges, those are pretty expensive, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, interior is definitely, I mean, it's, it's pretty nice. And then in terms of the driving, it does drive like a lifted truck, but it drives close enough to stock that it's not intimidating at all to drive. And so it's definitely something that, uh, again, you could just get into and it's it's not intimidating you. Like you're not gonna be like, oh man, I don't know if I really wanna drive this, it's too big, it's scary, all that kind of stuff. You definitely don't get that feeling with this truck. And so if you're looking for a crazy cool, unique lifted truck, I would check out this Black Widow. It's definitely, it's definitely done right. Let's get something's up for a video on this Black Widow 1500. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Chevy here in Provo for giving me some time with the truck. Check out their inventory in the link below and I'll see all of you in that next video.